Good morning, noon, evening or night, depending when you're watching this video. My name is a legend and welcome back to World of Tanks and the MBTT replay series. Where we are featuring the best replays of the MBTT clan for every patch. And today we are watching Toby Thomas playing in his Bisonte C45 on the map Pilsen. So the Bisonta C45, a very interesting vehicle indeed. The first auto reloading heavy tank with the improved auto reloading gun. And we immediately are going to see how that will pan out for this Borask. Yep. First shot, he tracks him, but the second shot, he damage and tracks him again allowing him to get his third shot off dealing already almost 700 damage and that's really the power of this auto reloading mechanic as a italian heavy tank he has also the improved version of this auto reloading mechanic the way that this works is the closer you are at reloading a shell but you still fire your previous shell the shorter the time it takes to reload that shell once again the reason for this is mainly because heavy tanks has less mobility and sometimes you really need to shoot via that shot otherwise you don't get a chance again to either relocate, outflank or do some other shit which medium tanks might be able to do. That's the only reason why I think that the heavy tanks have the improved reloading mechanic. So Toby Thomas takes already quite a advantage position in a close range brawl. A very good position since he doesn't have very large capolars or weak spot at his turret. He does have some weak spot, especially well the hull on the side. Don't really want to expose too much of that. But when staying hull down, angling your turret downwards, it's actually quite a sturdy vehicle. Although it actually has still some rather low amounts of effective armor. Well low it's still 230 but with premium shells you can actually pin this turret well if you aim at the correct position and toby seems to be lacking a bit in situational awareness because he misses the patriot which he could have fired one shot at while he was moving towards his arty and now he is also driving backwards towards that E50. Not sure if that is a good idea. But in general, we saw a very good use of the auto reloading gun, firing only as many shots as you can when you know for sure that you can kill the enemy or you know that you are going to be in cover for a longer time. And here we saw that auto reloading mechanic in practice since the shell is already reloaded it took only five seconds or something like that and usual it will take something like 16 seconds so the bisonte is quite the interesting vehicle because when it came out in the loot boxes it i thought that it was going to be the next op tier 8 premium heavy tank but well it more or less acted like the 7032 it wasn't really that powerful <coughs> don't get me wrong this thing still gets used in the meta of competitive gameplay a lot but let's get back into the battle because we saw some very bad rng against that k91 prototype fortunately all the shots either landed in the tracks or somehow didn't deal any damage but now toby thomas is a is in a great defensive position hull down turret angled and this way he can see the enemies approaching from the j and k line with little worries for the g line since the t95 is covering that flank but there are some factors that tone it a bit down mainly it's dpm 
is a bit on the lower side even if you use it fully as a single shot tank it still got a rather low dpm uh, of a rather long reload for its alpha damage of 360 and also like i said before the armor although quite sturdy can be penetrated when aiming for the correct spots also its hull frontally is also quite well lackluster in armor especially at the lower side of the upper hull you can well easily and reliable pen it if you well avoid those spaced armor bits so really at the sides near the tracks where the well, front lights are located those are the frontal weak spots of this thing it isn't like the defender where even the underplate is still 230 <laughs> that alongside with a mediocre mobility even for heavy tank even for heavy tank standards and this thing is isn't really that overpowered which is a good thing keep it up Wargaming, please so now he redirects his attention more towards the teammate who's still alive because the T95 was being caught out a bit by the 122 TM. So being in this place he is very well stopping the enemy advances and now letting the T95 cover the lower flanks he redirects his attention once again towards a different flank in order to catch out more flanking enemies and he does catch out the links unfortunately he misses his second shell which would have killed the links but eventually he does kill him now redirecting once again towards the super pershing but notice that toby thomas actually hasn't still healed up his driver allowing the Pershing to get a clean shot in his lower plate because he wasn't able to pull back only now he repairs it after 50 seconds that his driver was down because of the shot of the links a little bit more awareness also right there needed but now once again redirecting his attention back to help out his T95 and he's noticing very well that the T95 is handling the T75 and quickly goes towards the Scorpion G. And now the perfect example how this improved auto reloader is so good on these heavy tanks. Because if he didn't have that, he wasn't in time reloaded to kill off that T103. Giving him his sixth kill and a very sweet victory. So Toby has some excellent results this game getting an ace tanker alongside with the spartan award for ricocheting a potential killing shot and also a top gun not a lot of more epic medals but the main juice is in the amount of damage he did nearly 5000 damage which goes nicely alongside with 1750 base experience for facing off against multiple higher tier opponents and getting a lot of kills which is also a very high contributor in the amount of base experience you get but not only a huge amount of base experience also quite a amount of credits earned with premium account he gets over 200,000 credit profit so in this battle Toby Thomas really utilizing the auto reloading mechanic to get the most damage or kills if well, RNG allowed it to happen. <laughs> Firing off every shell when it was deemed necessary either to kill or do as much damage before getting into cover for a long time. He also took great advantageous positions both in the offensive side at the beginning brawling against enemy tanks at very close range hiding as much of his weak spots as possible and also not having any large cupolas also help and also great advantageous position on the defensive side keeping off several higher tier enemy tanks in order to hold off their push towards their base and also keeping an eye out at multiple flank it was easy to do at that location and he did it very well checking the sides where his team wasn't looking but despite of that this 
a game could actually have been done a little bit better because there was still room for improvement with general situational awareness both in the map although he did somewhat redeem himself by eventually looking around a little bit more in the end game but also a bit more awareness on crew members which needed to heal especially the driver that stayed down for almost a minute could have made one shell less penetrating him from the Pershing he faced. But even though this game could have done a little bit better, it's still a great result and, and definitely a top position on the clan for that certain patch. So that has been this episode of MBTT Replay. Hope you learned, hope you enjoyed the video and as always I will see you next time. LATES!